Yes! That's awesome! What? Hi, in this video, I want to show you a quick way to convert a color image into a black and white image with spot color in both Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw. In Photoshop, since I want to idealize the warm colors, I'm just going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and I want to make the green grass go black and white. Now, currently this is set to master, and if I desaturate, you all know that basically desaturate equalizes the red, green, and blue color channels. So what I want to do is take that power and go in individually. Let me select greens and desaturate those. And yes, ironically, there's more yellow than green in green grass. So let me select the yellows and desaturate the yellow. And really quickly, I have this spot color portrait, right bracket key to make my brush bigger. Go look at my foreground and background swatches. I need black in the foreground because I need to paint with black on this white mask right here. So that means I'm gonna hit X to swap them so that I can just quickly paint back in the yellow tones that were taken out of the face so it looks more natural. And there we go. I have quickly reduce this to a black and white spot color image. I'm gonna hit delete to delete that hue saturation layer. And now let's go over to Adobe Camera Raw. And since that's gonna be a destructive edit, since I'm not using smart objects or smart filters, I'm gonna hit Command or Control J, so I'm not working on my original, hit filter, and then I'm gonna go to Camera Raw Filter. Now that I'm in the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box, I'm coming over to the HSL adjustment and I want to adjust the saturation of the specific colors. And we already know that yellow does most, so let me go ahead and drag the yellow down. See, there's just a little bit of green back in here to see that. So now I'll desaturate the green and that's fixed. And even in Adobe Camera Raw, I can hit Command or Control Zero to fit image back in screen. And I still have the ability to use my adjustment brush to bring back, since I don't have a layer mask in Adobe Camera Raw, I can just click on my adjustment brush. Then I can just click the plus icon to reset all of these sticky settings from the last time I used Adobe Camera Raw. And it's gonna let me add back in a, some of that yellow that I just took out. And here's the great part. With this slider, I can actually dial it to taste to wherever I want. So I'll just warm that up a little bit, click OK. So now I have a nice spot color image. And you can do this again in either Photoshop or Adobe Camera Raw. Remember, you can also do the same thing we did in ACR in Lightroom because they have the same processing engines. Nice. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes! Go watch another video of mine. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs>